Welcome back to the rig review. And today I want to take a look at the Stewart rig. It's very cute. You can find that rig on Island Props and you can choose the option for student use and you get the price. As always, this will be posted on my Animation Beefy site as well, where I post all kinds of reviews and just rigs that are available. So if you have any rigs that you want me to post there or review, feel free to send me an email and I will take a look. And these reviews will also be posted on my animation channel where you can find acting analysis clips and lectures, Q and A's, feedback, all kinds of things. As always, feel free to browse around. If that's something that you like, feel free to subscribe. And let's get back to the rig. These are all the controls here. There's nothing in the channel and I will go through the rig and show you what the controls can do. Or as someone just said, this entire video is nothing but you can move these and that, these and those. That is 100% true. That is what this video is about. I love it when people take the time to comment like that. Good for you. And as always, let's go with the big controller. First, you got that main controller that moves this here. You can see there's nothing in the channels. This is just the main controller. There's no secondary controller. If you want to change any pivots, I would love to see actually a second controller here. Let me bring up my fancy drawing tool here. Something in here where I can then move this down as I sometimes show to change the pivot. I think that'd be really cool. Other than that, the other big controller, which I'll get to later, is the cog. The main controller has all those options, but I'll get to these later. Let's go down to the feet. You got your main controller here, which as you move this around will move the foot, but not the backside here. For that, you have this controller. You also see there is a little bit of a wheel there and that settings wheel changes from IK FK. So you can see here how it switches. And of course with FK, you can move these around like such. Other than that on here, you got the elbow pin boop, going back here. And that is this guy. So this will move around the elbow pin. So let's go this again. And you can see here, do this on one kind of hidden here. Kind of need to have that a bit bigger, but you can just select this right click vertex control and make it bigger just in case. And you will see that will still be there if you want to select this. But anyway, this is the quote unquote elbow pin. And you also have the follow cog here. Yes or no as an option. Going down here, you have this control that moves it like such here, nothing else in the channel's control. And then of course you can select all of these here and you can bend the toes like that. And of course the other ones like this here. And that of course is on both sides because it is feet. So it will be doubled here. As you look through here, you can see slightly hidden. Again, I will probably take these out, move them around or make them bigger. And that will move this here. This is the leg bind start joint control you see bigger name up there but don't forget highlight this and you can see them there as we go up here let's go to this one as we're the tail you can see this is the spine so now with the spine you can move it like that and obviously you can select these and you can move around like that but there is the bigger control here which will give you obviously the root control like such you have teeth control i'll show you that later but you have the extra neck that comes later as well but as well show you now these are the extra neck control so as you want to move this around and reshape the neck like that you have extra primary wing controls bam bam over here as you can see you can transit these around you cannot scale this is not for uh, modding the rig but you have that take these off you have secondary wing controls like that so here you can do it like this and like that and you have extra feathers ready bam that is a lot of stuff so you can move these around you don't detach but you can see it kind of pushes these out and you can also scale so you want to do any kind of modifications on the rig and kind of change that is there as well you're speaking about the spine here you can change this bam into this and you got your ik spine so now as you select this you can dancing bird here you have that and you have the extra ik spine so now you have these controllers so one selecting here and then you have that you can select it like this you can move it like that and if you go down you can see it does this for reshaping scale yes you can scale so very cool lots of options then you got the tails let's go back to these controls let me just select this and that and that that oh part of the wing that is my fault here you can see that is the wing like this and if you go back to the main cog you can see here IK tail, bam, and then you got that. You get those extra controls that come up and you can change the tail like this. And again, if you see this here, that is on off. What there isn't though, and it's funny because you got the two shapes here. There's no extra controller here to close that gap here or change anything with the tip. So that is just that one control here that you can do all this with, um, but there's nothing there just in case that's kind of a cool addition. 
go back to the cog and then you got extra primary leg controls bam you can see this here let's go closer and with that you can move things around on like that little changes and bembos and then you have secondary leg controls bam <laughs> boy even more so you can see you got a ton of controls and this is all on there and then reference you can see here normal i can select the geometry yay and you can do this and set it back to reference whatever or templates and now you can select so all of this is on the cog very cool as you go up here you can see these guys here that is the same as this one up here so just in case you feel like hmm, what is this it's the same and that is the clavicle so you can move that wing around like that and as we go out there you have this control you can translate you can also scale again to change and modify this whole thing this goes all the way down to the chain so you can rotate this around like such but these guys here move the wings around like that so you have bigger controls on your wings like that and the cool thing about the other control here is this one this is your wing fold i love this that you don't have to do this manually you can fold those wings obviously both together that is your wing folding option i love this it's great but yeah it's cool to have the main controls here to do any type of wing changes and then as we've shown here on these guys all the tiny controls on the wings this is super super cool now this is the setting here for ikfk switch so you move this around you can see here this moves the wing around and you can also rotate this around like that it still gives you this option here for that movement here or spreading out the feathers like that of course since this is an arm or a wing it's going to be both the same on both sides here as you get closer you get lots of options on the face here let's start with let's go with the neck here so you got neck like that obviously all like this you can't scale but you can translate when you want to do things this control here though moves the head translates and everything but also scales just in case you want to make some changes there the upper one detaches the head so you got this option here you can also scale this does this because of the eye control here but i don't see anything anything hidden in terms of a squash so if you have a type of head squash that currently is missing that would be a cool addition speaking of the eyes here you have this so you can move the eyes like that and you have to follow cog and root if you do head so if i move my head around this happens so you can see i stay put but if i change this to let's say to the root it stays where the root is so if i move the head you can see it stays put and follows that same thing with this if you want to change things that's what happens let's go back in here child control you got to follow like i said but nothing else and in here that's it as well you can do this but there's no optional blink or anything for quick posing this is all on the facial setup here so let's start at the top you got the eyebrows moves the whole thing and of course you got your separate movers for eye shapes like that you got this control that's for the blink same thing with the lower one nothing in the channels and you can scale but you can rotate if you want to change the shapes like that you got the shapes for here and here and of course all of these same thing with the lower one you can reshape those lids and you got the smaller control here to move things around so completely reshape and give you some details on the eyes which is very cool now i don't see anything on a bigger eye control here so if you select this this is just for translating you can see this here nothing else in the channel and nothing else here so there's nothing in terms of an iris control that is visible somewhere on the channels on this or this controller and i don't see like i said anything in here this would be cool to have iris control pupil control any type of changes maybe eyeball you can detach or move or scale i think that could be really neat this on the beak you can change this around like that you can scale like that and of course you can rotate if you want to open the mouth you have a couple controllers so you got this one that moves the beak like this same thing for the upper one then you have the one that's a bit below with the pivot a bit further back of course you can translate and you can scale just because you want to change some things and let's go and open one of these so you can see a bit more inside like that so now if you want to change things you also have this one that reshapes it like this with a inner control like that so you can do any type of shaping for a smile any type of controls so you can do that here you have extra boxes for this you got the main plus box here you can see this here let's move this around 
that moves everything here in the corner. And if you want to do a bigger small control, you would rotate this like that. So you can move this around. You can't scale, but this is how you would do it. You pull it all the way back and then you have control over this. So for a frown, you pull it down and do it like such. You can see though, it kind of moves geometry in the back and this part of the eye. You can see the information, maybe that could be lessened. But then again, I know how much you're going to animate like this just as a caveat of that shape. And of course you have this on the bottom one as well. And if you leave that mouth open, let's go back to the cog. You have here, teeth controls, tongue controls, teeth geo and tongue geo. Bam, turn this on and there you go. So you got teeth, here's your tongue, tongue control. And then you got your tooth controls here. Let's go back just to see what happens here. You can see tongue controls on off and teeth control on off and you got that main controller here that moves the top part and you have another one for the bottom so lots of options here which is really neat and going back just in case you see all those channels here where you have the follow and spine one of the things is on the neck here you got cog and root if you do the root and then you select the cog here you can see how the head stays put if you're doing a type of pigeon action where this moves and stays here that is there. It's nice to have a cartoony rig available. Also with a lot of facial options, so you can do any type of lip sync with this character. That's pretty neat. All right, a little quick posing here just to see how it goes. I think one thing I would highly recommend is a picker. It's a bit unwieldy to go in there and grab these and reshape these and trying to make sense of all those controllers. I think it's great to have them. It's definitely a lot of control, especially if it's in flight and you have all the all the wind influence on the wings. I think that's all very cool. As you want to post something out in the wings, I think a really nice picker, uh, anything you want to do or you want to do character sets, whatever you want to do to kind of look at that and simplify things, I think that will be of massive help when you pose things out. Other than that, it's very clean. I think looking in here, we kind of need to have an extra controller just to kind of change part of the hip. You have this here, this is part of the tail. And then you have this here, that's part of the root and the spine, and that's the root. But anything that potentially gives you just a bit more control in how the quote unquote hip will be to move things around to reposing, I think that would be uh, helpful as well. So that's your squash and stretch on the head and the extra controls on the pupil and irises that are currently not there if you select this. Again, there's nothing in there hidden. So that would be my quick impression on that, but it's very light, it's very quick to pose out. I think these are all very neat. Lots of possibilities and lots of potential on that rig. I think that's very cool. And as always, if you have a rig that you want me to look at or check out or post on my buffet site or do anything types of review, feel free to email me. As always, I will blend in the email and all the information is in the description. Thank you for watching. These are usually longer clips. So if you're still watching, thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate it. Other than that, I will say thank you and goodbye. And I will see you in my next upload.